So let's bring in the president of FlyersRights.org, Paul Hudson, comes to us from Sarasota, Florida. So I try my best to keep my emotions in check, Mr. Hudson. Uh, I don't think I've been this angry about anything in quite some time. Am I overdoing it, sir? Hothead Bill O'Reilly went on a tirade at the airport threatening a gate agent. Of course, the disgraced former Fox News host was caught on camera. Welcome into TYT's Over Rules. I am your host, Adrian Lawrence. Earlier this month, harass hole extraordinaire Bill O'Reilly got pissed because his flight to Turks and Caicos was delayed. So without missing a beat, the 72-year-old showcased his entitlement in the middle of JFK Airport. Here's the footage. This evening, it's Bill O'Reilly. Bill O'Reilly on the Fox 5. I want to see a manager. No, what you're going to do is three hours late now. No, no, no. You're going to find out. You're looking at a few more fists. You're warming the water. You're going to be a fist. 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 If you missed some of that, well, the 6'4 conservative commentator said to the JetBlue gate agent, What you're gonna do, it's three hours late. No, what you're gonna do, it's three hours late now. Then he can be heard saying, no, 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 you're going to find out, while aggressively jabbing his finger in the agent's direction. You're going to find out. Then O'Reilly squints at the worker's name badge, which the man helpfully holds up for the septuagenarian. Yeah. O'Reilly says to the employee, you effing scumbag, don't talk to me like that. <laughs> And then the employee says, you're threatening me with violence, man. You're threatening me with violence, man. No, I'm not. You are the one. You're going to get that information before spouting, you're going to lose your job for storming off. You're going to get that information. You're going to lose your job. O'Reilly does have a history of easily losing his temper, but you think he'd manage to keep it in check given that he's got enough money to fuel a private jet. Before being canned by Fox for sexual harassment, O'Reilly was banking at least $25 million a year. While I'm very glad that he took that climate-friendly option of a commercial carrier, I doubt that that JetBlue agent wants to see the man again. And had I been the agent, I would have bounced him from the flight before he even had a chance to get on it. What would you have done? You let me know in the comments below. Hit that like and follow button, and thanks for watching.